This is a 17-year journey to get here today. Some of you may know that, right? Let me ask you a question, just to let them know how much you love them. How many of you are really excited that Melvin and Stephanie are getting married here today? All right. Well, it's your wedding day. I mean, this is a moment in life that you're never, ever supposed to forget. I mean, you'll have a thousand important moments in your life, but your wedding day, uh, that's kind of like a landmark moment in your life. waited along with them for a long time. They don't know how long we have been waiting. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the day has arrived and we want to thank God for all these years that they have been journeying together. They kept them, kept them safe, sound, and healthy. And for this great day in their life, I want to thank you all that you made it possible for with your presence being here. Melvin and Stephanie, you don't know how much we love you. You know, we have seen you growing up together and I think it's more than when probably you were a teenager. That, from that time probably mom had a dream for Stephanie to have her in our family. But they don't know that. <laughs> Thank you, make it possible and our dream comes true. Stephanie, we never looked at you as daughter-in-law. We always considered Susan and you as our daughter. Thank you for loving Melvin. Thank you for loving us as your own. You are always, you will be in our heart until we breathe our last breath. Melvin and Stephanie, the greatest distance that one can have in their life is not from their birth to a death, no. The greatest distance you will ever think a person can have when they are in front of them and they don't know how much they love each other. So, hope 
that distant will never grow in both of your life. Amen. I say from my heart remember the love that has brought you to this very day remember to respect one another always remember to value each other remember to be ever so kind Love, respect, value, and kindness. These are the things I wish for you today, always, and forever. Stephanie, I'm proud of you. You're the best of the best. You make Daddy happy today. I'm touched. Thank you. Thank God. But I want to just say a few things for you guys. Remember what your mom said. That's wonderful. Out of her experience in life, you know? Keep it up. Of course, have God in the triangle of love. Put God in the top, you two in the bottom. Try to reach to God and you will be close to each other every moment in your life. Without God, what's the use of having a family? Right? Mm -hmm. Family and also happiness is not happen until you make it to happen. And just continue on to help one another to grow. Don't let the trouble 
come around and check your part. But you guys get together and say what the problem is. Look around it and get rid of the problem. Okay? And just, just make a plan to live together for the rest of your life. And be the life of the world as you are. Be the salt of the earth. Wherever you go, you make things happen. And I know God wants you to be that, like that. And I want you to know that I want you to get the best of the best of your life. We will continue praying for you. Whatever you have problem, don't worry, come by and visit with us. We've been there before you, all right? And uh, may the Lord bless you with good health, long life, and have a lot of babies coming along after, all right? I, 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 I'm looking forward to see my grandchildren, you know? No pressure. All right, all right, but we need a real one. As we both stand here together, I am filled with happiness. When I think back on the long journey that brought us to this moment, one word particularly keeps coming to my mind. Finally. Stephanie, when I started writing this, I tried to think back to over 213 months ago and to remember the first time we met. But unfortunately, I can't. Even though I can't remember the day we met, I promise that I will never forget how you looked in that blue lehenga the first time we kissed. How could I? Melvin, you are my everything, and I'm so proud to have you here by my side. Today I get what we wanted for so long, finally I get to be your wife. I will never forget Monday, March 15th, 2004, the day when I first told you that I loved you. I already knew that day what I promise you now. I will love you till the end of time. Our dads went to school before either of us were born, but we became really close after I started dating my husband, Clint. See, Clint and I dated forever, and for as long as we've been together, there's always been Stephanie and Melvin. And I honestly don't think I know anyone else that's dated longer than them. I mean, 17 years, right? <laughs> so I really can't talk about one without talking about the other. So there are certain qualities that I believe are essential for a lifelong marriage, and these two have them. Stephanie is someone I can always count on, and that's hard to find in person. Um, in all the years we've known each other, we've been through all the ups and downs that life can bring to you. But other than my family, she has always been my one constant person. She's always willing to listen. She's someone I can shed a tear with. And she's just always there for me as I'm always there for her. And I just love her to pieces. I have one key advice for the married couple. Have you ever heard the very important marriage quote, happy wife, happy life? Uh, 
<laughs> well, that is definitely so true. <laughs> but how do you make your wife happy? Well, Melvin, first, you must remember, you must let Stephanie think she's having her own way. And second, let her have it. So in other words, keep her happy, right? <laughs> so let's toast to Stephanie and Melvin. Here's to the past for all that you learned. Here's to the present for all that you share. And here's the future for all that you've got to look forward to. Cheers. <laughs>
Thank you.